On the gold fields of central Burma, women are being drawn into the mines to replace their husbands. Here at Chongji village in Mandalay Division, children too young to pitch in watch their mothers work. Many of the women you see here have lost their husbands to a chronic illness endemic to these labourers, silicosis of the lungs. Families have uprooted from homes far away, converging on Mandalay's gold mines in the hope of striking it rich. But here in the heart of a country known as the Golden Land, gold miners are dying of what is commonly referred to as driller's disease. One local doctor has been treating silicosis patients since 1989. He believes the disease has killed over 500 miners in that time. <laughs> Small-time miners in Burma have long struggled to make ends meet in an industry that promises so much and often winds up delivering so little. Now, spiralling medical costs are forcing family members to commit to toiling in the mines, despite being aware of the hazards. Many more miners who work down the deep pits are developing the same symptoms which is similar to tuberculosis. And misdiagnosis is making things worse. The use of mercury and cyanide in the extraction process is exacerbating the situation. Miners inhale noxious byproducts as the mineral is loosened from the earth. Three of the sisters in this family have contracted silicosis. Two of the sick women are already widows. A fourth sister, Ma Mo, is now caring for her sick husband. <laughs> Financial woes are forcing Ma Mo to cut corners when caring for her husband. At Chongji, families are resigned to losing loved ones to this debilitating illness.
and the ambition that brought them to the goldfields has long since evaporated.